First Technical University Ibadan is an institution born out of innovative approach towards overcoming perennial challenges facing tertiary education in Nigeria. These challenges include lack of access to quality education, mass unemployment, and lack of empowerment for the Nigerian team in youth. According to statistics by the National Population Commission, as at the year 2013, the youth constitute half of Nigeria's 182 million people. However, the combined capacity of both public and private Nigerian universities could only accommodate less than 40% of the youth who apply yearly for admission. The situation is exacerbated when unsuccessful candidates of previous years have to reapply again year in, year out, thereby increasing the number of spillover potential undergraduates with requisite qualifications. Consequently, there is the all-important need to provide alternatives that will not only cater for the spillover, but churn out employable graduates who would add an appreciable value to national development. This is where first Technical University Ibadan becomes veritably relevant. Jamb has told us that only 30% of the qualified candidates are able to have you know, access to university education because that's what the capacity that we have now can accommodate. Many 70% of those who are qualified cannot have access to university. So the major argument being advanced over time for establishing a university is to expand access. It is perhaps pertinent to underscore the fact that quite a number of Nigerian graduates brandish certificates that are seemingly worthless owing to lack of the required competence to compete within the industrial space. Hence, the rate of unemployment keeps increasing exponentially with the attendant social vices of youth restiveness. To arrest this trend, the integration of innovation and entrepreneurial orientation into the academic programs in Nigerian universities is very crucial. In this regard, First Technical University, TechU Ibadan, was established as part of efforts to solve the problem of access to university education with a particular focus on filling the skill gap in the Nigerian university education system. TechU is built on um, the realization of the challenges that are inherent in the current educational system and the need to address them. So we have what we call a disruptive educational model in which we place emphasis not just on the knowledge that the students um, should acquire, but on the needs of the society and what they need to know, what they need to have. So we are training students with realization of the needs of the society in mind. While considering the declaration by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, that all companies within the Nigerian formal sector cannot generate more than 20% of the job required for the economy, the remaining 80% will be expected to come from the informal sector, that is, the small and medium-scale industries. Consequently, First Technical University Badon is a unique model that has, within a very short period of its existence, demonstrated its tremendous commitment to entrepreneurial and vocational training program, which ultimately is a sure way towards complete, total youth empowerment. Um, when we come to entrepreneurship, they really push us to do what we know how to do. They give us motivations to do what we know how to do. I'm a photographer. I take pictures for the school. I do a lot of things for the school, I get paid, so presently I can get money, earn money while working, so they teach us how to earn money while working. Presently I don't need to call my parents to ask them for anything, I let them just go. I'm very fortunate because I don't think I can do that when I'm in other universities. As we all know that Nigeria is faced with my rise of difficulties, most especially in the aspect of unemployment. Then the, tech the Technical University by the was mainly established to train its graduates so as to become job creators rather than job seekers. In achieving this, TechU has engaged the services of professionals in various disciplines to train the students in at least two different vocations apart from their preferred courses of study. What we do is that apart from the fact that they are running 
different degree programs in their various departments. They go into the school, what we have, what we call the school of entrepreneurial and vocational studies. And graduates there are expected to enroll for at least two major vocations. And they are trained not by lecturers, but by people who are skilled in those vocations. This is not the kind of training that is offered as an elective to regular programs, but as an independent program that run Paris Passu with a degree program, wherein we bring experts from outside the university, a certified, competent, acclaimed experts to train the students. So they are also going to be put forward for certification in at least two vocations, which is mandatory for every student to acquire before they graduate. They will sit for either the National Board for Technical Education um, uh, Qualification Examination or the London City and Guild. Furthermore, TechU has engaged project management firms to train its students on how to write business proposals so that their access to facilities offered by the Bank of Industry we yield the desired positive results. This is another unwavering commitment to the global principles of impactful innovation. They will be certified in two vocations by the university. And at the end of the third year, after their certification, they will be required to write business proposals. And the university will now select the best proposals and then the back of industry has significant intention to partner with us and we're also trying to work with other sponsors. So we are now going to select this I mean, uh, proposal and then I mean, serve as guarantor for them to obtain loan to start up their business. So they will already be having their business while they are still students under us. So for the last two years in their university, they are already doing something on their own. So by the time they graduate, they already know the terrain, they're already confident, and they already have experience in their own business. And they can decide either to, you know, to go to look for a job or just continue with this, or, con or look for a job while they are still employing others to, I mean, to, uh, to do their, their business for them. So that is one thing about the technical university. As part of noteworthy efforts of First Technical University Badon to ensure that their students are globally competitive and relevant, all students are required to go through French language competence courses as a prerequisite for graduation. Nobody will graduate from the technical university without being bilingual. Why did we come to this conclusion? If you look at Nigeria, for instance, we are within the West Africa subregion. And we have 16 countries within the West Africa. Only five are Anglophone, 11 are Francophone. And what does that mean? It means that if we have first class in electrical, electronic engineering, mechanical engineering, and Dangote goes to establish a factory in Burkina Faso, you cannot be employed there. And apart from that, when you look at what is happening in the Nigerian economy now as the biggest economy in Africa, China is coming to the West Africa sub-region. All other industrial uh, 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 concerns are coming to West Africa sub -region. They are opening branches all over in the West Africa sub-region. And that means no matter how good and skilled our students are, they cannot actually assess the opportunities that are available beyond their borders. If we go out there, most of these investors that come into Nigeria, most of them communicate primarily, aside English, French is the other language that they communicate in primarily. So by learning French, you'll be able to communicate with some people out there who cannot understand English or even the Yoruba language in our culture. Primarily now, as I'm standing and with all of my other mates, we can actually approach a layman there outside, greet the person in French, introduce yourself in French, and say some of these primary things in French. From the foregoing, First Technical University Badon is undoubtedly living up to its bidding as a premier technical university in West Africa. Incidentally, the university is located in Ibadan, a city that is reputed for setting the pace in developmental achievements. Ibadan is the home of the first university and the first teaching hospital in Nigeria. The city also harbors the first television station in Africa, as well as the first Olympic stadium in Africa, talkless of the first skyscraper, among many other firsts. And so, First Technical University is in good company 
as the first technical university in West Africa. We enter into partnership with the Nigerian Society of Engineers to work with us in training our students. Because by the nature of our program, 60, only 60% 60 of our program is taken by our lecturers. 40% must be taken by the industry. So for that, we've entered into agreement with the Nigerian Society of Engineers. We've also entered into agreement with several private sector, several organizations within the private sector to ensure that we have reserve placement for our students for industrial exposure where the facilities and the equipment they need for hands of experience are available. Strategically situated on the 200 hectares of land along the Badon Lagos Expressway within the free trade zone area in which about 175 local and foreign manufacturing companies are expected to establish presence and carry out their operations, the students of First Technical University will no doubt have easy and direct access to ample opportunities for industrial exposure and hands-on experience. It should also engender strong collaboration with the university in the provision of services aimed at accelerating the growth and expansion of the industries located around the university area. I'm a student from mechatronics department. In mechatronics, it consists of three different courses, computer, electrical, and mechanical engineering, all together in one. This kind of course can only be found in the first technical university in West Africa. With a blend of theoretical and practical training in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, anchored on quality entrepreneurship programs that are hinged on collaboration and partnership with the Technical University of Texas in the United States of America and other world-class universities, first Technical University's quest for excellence remains its forte. One of the major agreements we are able to sign is with Texas Tech University in Lubbock, United States of America. And when you check the latest webometry ranking, Texas Tech belongs to the first 3% of the best universities in the world. On June 19, 2018 specifically, we signed an agreement with Texas Tech. That agreement is tagged 4 plus 1 X. What is 4 plus 1 X? A student wants to come and run a program at this university, you come in for engineering, which is five years. You spend the first two years here in the Bada. The third year, you go to Lubbock in the United States of America to spend the third year to have international exposure, see the facility over there. And you come back for the remaining two years to hand our degree, I mean, to, to complete your program. And once you have our degree, you have automatic admission for master degree in Texas Tech University. With this philosophy of education, there is no doubt that First Technical University Ibadan, the premier technical university in West Africa, has what it takes in terms of exceptional services to make its students turn out highly resourceful. Mm -hmm.